rule for exponentiation. Hi all. One rule I have heard is that multiple exponents raised to exponents is calculated right to left. If so, how do we calculate 2 to the 3rd to the 4th to the 5th? It's meant to be a power tower, it's not 2 to the 345 because it's just a formatting issue on Reddit. So now, let's check this out. If we have an expression written down like this, we are going to start with the topmost exponent. So this right here means we look at 4 to the 5th power first, work that out. After that, we do 3 to whatever that is. It's going to be a huge result already. And then after that, we will do 2 to that power. So it's 2 to that power. In my opinion though, this right here is pretty clear because the word of operation says you should always do it from the inside to the outside. So this is the most inside and then just work it on the outside. I agree, like in that sense. I think that confusions come from when we want to enter this onto a computer software or a calculator. To do so, you use the carrot key, right? 2 to the 3rd to the 4th to the 5th. So how do the computer softwares interpret this? I will tell you it's the same as that. This right here means, let me just write that down again, 2 to the 3rd to the 4th to the 5th. Here, we actually have to work it out from right to left. So do this first. And after that, do that. And after that, do 2 to the power, which is equivalent to that. I know this is kind of bad because when we have an expression, if all the operations are the same, we'll just do it from left to right. For example, if we have 12 divided by 6 divided by 2, this right here, just go ahead and proceed from left to right. So this will be 2, and then divided by 2, of course the answer is just 1. And imagine if you do it from right to left. If you do this from right to left, it looks like we have 6 divided by 2. Well, that would be 12 divided by, this is 3, and 12 divided by 3 will be 4. And this right here is the wrong order of operation in this situation. So exponentiation is kind of like a special case because this matches with that, so we follow it like that. Alright, so now let me just show you some examples. But 2 to the 3rd to the 4th to the 5th is too big. So let's just look at 2 to the 3rd to the 4th. Alright, if the question is written down like this, then we do it like 2 to the power of 3 to the 4th. We do this power first. So 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, we get 81. That's manageable. But 2 to the 81st power, it's not possible for me to do it. So of course, just use the calculator word from alpha. And just for fun, let me just write down all the digits for you. So we have 2, 4, 1, 7, 8, 5, 1, 6, 3, 9, 2, 2, 9, 2, 5, 8, 3, 4, 9, 4, 1, 2, and then 3, 5, 2. Oh my goodness, I can fit in everything here. That's great. Now, if we look at 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 4. If you just enter this on a computer software, you can try it. Let me tell you, you will still end up with the same answer. And let me just write that down one more time. So we get 2, 4, 1, 7, 8, 5, 1, 6, 3, 9, 2, 2, 9, 2, 5, 8, 3, 4, 9, 4, 1, 2, 3, 5, 2. So, yeah, it's like, it's like that. Okay. What if we have a different question? Of course, we all know that parentheses matters in math. So imagine if I ask you 2 to the 3rd power and then to the 4th power. In this case, we really will have to do this right here first. So 2 to the 3rd power, work that out. 2 times 2 times 2, we get 8. And then raise that to the 4th power. This right here is 4,000 and... 96. All right. So if you have a question with the parentheses written down already, then of course you do the inside first. And if you really want to do 2 to the third power first with the carrot keys, then you would really just have to use the following. 2 to the third to the fourth, you just put a parentheses around there. And then if you work that out, 
you will get the same thing as that. So it's still eight power key four, and you get four zero nine six. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. Here is one more thing that I would like to talk about. Though. Of course, we can see that this is certainly not the same as that. If we have two to the third power to the fourth power, unfortunately, we cannot simplify it. The best thing is uh, you just do it like that. So can be simplified it or work that out. Well, any rules, none of that. Just remember the order of it. But if you have two to the third and then raised to the fourth power written down like that, then in fact, this right here, we can multiply the powers. You can say this is two. Again, here we have that parentheses for the base. We get to multiply the powers. So three times four, and that is two to the 12th power. So this right here can be kind of worked out. It's not really, a, well, it's simplified a little bit, right? You have uh, powers, but mm, we cannot do anything with that. And of course, if you worked out two to the 12th power, you will of course get 4096, which is the same as that. And this right here is the usual rule of exponents that we have seen a lot. And I just want to show you guys one more thing. So we all know how to compute two to the third power. This right here means we just write down the two three times and then multiply them. So two times two times two. And as we can see, we have written down three twos. And then if we multiply them, we will get eight. That's it. And this step is called the exponentiation. So let me just write this down real quick. Exponentiation. It's just like a fancier way to say we have that exponent. But now let me show you guys. Have you guys seen if we have two right here, but with the three right over there? This is the real thing, okay? This right here is called the titration. So let me just write this down right here for you guys as well. So what does this do? Well, it's the next level of exponentiation. Now let's think about it. For exponentiation, this right here is just a repeated multiplication, right? This is the next level. So this right here will be the repeated exponentiation. When we have the three right here, this means we do two and then power two and then power two like this. As you can see, we are still writing down three twos, but this is an exponentiation question, repeated one. This means, of course, two to the two to the two, and then we do this right here first, which is two to the fourth, and then we end up with 16. That's the answer for that. Here, this is the correct order, and that's pretty much what we have been talking about. And then let me just show you guys another one. If we have two to the fourth power, well, like titration four, this means two to the two, to the two, to the two. And then as we can see here, we have four twos. And then this means two to the two, to the two, to the two. And then this means you do this first, and then you do that afterward. So again, just like we do it from right to left, like what we have been talking about. So right here though, let's see. This right here is two to the, here is four. And then we are going to work this out next, which is 16. So that's two to the 16. And this is actually not a bad number because it's only six, five, five, three, six. That will be the answer for that. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool and I hope you like it too. That's it.